As a registered dietitian at Beaumont in Trenton, Laura Langmeyer thought she had seen it all, and then COVID hit. I had never seen anything so ravaging to the human body as I did with COVID. Langmeyer cared daily for patients, never realizing that her 22-year-old daughter Haley would soon become one of her COVID patients after catching the virus from a roommate. And then she called me afterwards and says, well, I tested positive. Haley's diagnosis came in March before people in her age group could get vaccinated. She was anxiously waiting. At first, Haley's symptoms were mild, and at times she felt dizzy. And by day six, she literally, that's when she said I couldn't breathe. So her mother took her to a place she knows all too well, Beaumont Hospital in Trenton. It just became more and more difficult for her to breathe. The doctors kept saying her lungs were just getting more and more stiff. It's a painful struggle to watch. Haley was then transferred to the University of Michigan for additional treatment. And then when her kidneys started to fail, then I really knew. She ended up dying um, May 12th. I don't know if I can go on, I'm sorry. She, she had a smile that would light up the room. We all just miss her so much. As this mother lives with the pain of not having her child, she says one thing that brings her comfort is the care Haley received, primarily from her respiratory therapist, and she wants to acknowledge them during National Respiratory Care Week, which is October 24th through the 30th. Hey, the respiratory therapists, both even at U of M and at Beaumont Trenton, they have been the most outstanding group of professional people who are not only there to give treatments, but they are so supportive to their patients. As this mom reflects on the precious memories of Haley, she hopes that people understand that young people are dying from COVID and the only way to win this battle is through vaccination. Everyone wants to get back to normal life and the only way that will happen is if we are vaccinated. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.